Good morning, Good morning. friends. What is today? <laughs> oh, Christmas Eve. <laughs> We are making breakfast. By we, I mean this Me. guy right here. What are you making for us, Dad? Making Ziploc omelets. <laughs> I'm just getting your hands. Shake, 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 So one of the things that we do on Christmas Eve is we like to go to a Christmas Eve service. Now, it's fun when we get to do it at our home church in Houston, but we have something special, and this year we get to do it with our family. So we are heading in to my parents' church for Christmas Eve, and we want you to join us. Well, hey girls, are you guys excited about lighting the fire? I'm doing the candle service tonight. Yeah, have you ever done one before, Poppy? Uh, maybe like last year. service we go home and open up presents all right I would just like to say just for clarity's sake that it is Christmas Eve here in Texas and we are all dressed nice and cute and warm and all kinds of great things are happening but it's hard to feel like Christmas when it's that's right 68 degrees outside 68 degrees outside. Uh, right? It's difficult to feel like Christmas time when I could basically go without a shirt and teach in shorts. It's the tradition here is we get to open one present on Christmas Eve. And so here we go. Okay, it is currently 11 o'clock. The kids are in bed and we are up prepping for Christmas day. So I had cinnamon rolls ready. I was making I the dough. Fast rising. Yeah, he fast rose it. He baked bread basically. But what happened was I had it all ready. It had to rise for an hour. Then I was gonna add the flour in. It's a great cinnamon roll recipe. Amazing, the best ever. But the problem is when I went to check it in an hour, I noticed my dad had accidentally turned the stove on and caught, oh, let me show you this, this towel on fire. So we caught that on fire and we were like, oh geez, oh geez, maybe we can save the dough. But no, right here, bad dough. Smells like bread, gross and nasty. So we're up preparing things for tomorrow. Because it's gonna be Christmas and it's gonna be great and amazing. See you then. Okay. Good morning, Merry Christmas. I had to wake up before everyone else, finishing up cinnamon rolls, so you'll get to see some of that. But we're gonna try to do that before the kids wake up. Good morning! Merry Christmas! Are you guys awake? Yeah! Are you excited for presents? Yeah. yeah! Who wants to run down and see them? Me! Me! Christmas Mary! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Do you see? Who came? So we always wake up and do stockings first, then we sort all the presents, and then 
we actually let the youngest kids open their presents first and then the oldest. So me as being 34 years old, I always end up being one of the last people to open their presents. Brittany, how unfair is that? Not fair at all. Not fair at all. Hey, Pippa, it, whose turn is it to open gifts? Mommy! All right, there you go. It's like nine o'clock. We have done round one and two of presents. So that means all 12 of the grandkids have opened up their gifts. <laughs> now that we've cleared out all that mess, we're putting out the, you know, adult gifts. And then it's about to be round three. <laughs> Let's go. This is the best gift of all Christmas. Oregon Trail, baby! Oregon Trail! But you don't know what Oregon Trail is? You're gonna die of dysentery if you don't know what Oregon Trail is. I hold with all my heart that they are the pink and red Nike. No, they're not. The Air Max. Really? Yeah! They're the ugliest things no, in the world. No, they're not. They're so cute. They're horrible, but she loves them. I'm so excited! They match your hair. Alrighty, friends, that's how you do Christmas with 20 people. We started this morning at about 6 or 7. Now it is currently almost lunchtime. <sighs> so, why don't you guys finish watching the kids open up their stockings while I go play with the kids and have a great rest of our Christmas morning? Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, they're so cool. Oh, no.